and I'd like to show you Voice Dream Reader version 3. Um, the new update includes support for PDFs in their original layout with, um, with images. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it on the iPhone and the iPad. It also works on the iPod Touch. So you see your, um, you have the familiar bookshelf view and you have all your documents in it. You can still add documents um, from Google Drive, Dropbox, the web browser, um, which is, the web browser is improved for um, easier loading into the app. Um, Project Gutenberg, Bookshare, um, and some other sources. So you'll really notice a change when you launch a PDF. So here's a PDF that I have, and you can see it's in its original um, layout, and it looks just like you would um, view it in any other computer program or um, app. But the difference is, Voice Dream Reader can read it back to you. So you can just double tap. Merge sort in this section. You will learn about the merge sort algorithm, a much more efficient algorithm than selection sort. The base and it starts reading it to you. You can also um, still do the highlighting and annotation options um, right in the layout view, which is pretty nice. In addition, um, version 3.0 includes new voices um, that some people may prefer over the ones that were available previously. You can purchase these um, voices through in-app purchases. And if you're not a fan of the layout view, you can still read uh, PDFs in the text view. And it's easy to swipe back and forth between the two. One thing I did notice is um, that with PDFs, this is a big PDF, it's almost 40 pages and it's um, pretty crisp uh, scan quality. But one thing I noticed with it is when I go from page to page, it takes a second extra to load it. You can see it kind of loading up. Now this isn't something that happens with all PDFs. If I go back and I go into this iPhone user guide, this uh, scrolls perfectly. So it may be an issue with the PDF or um, it may just be that that type of I don't, I'm not sure why, but it's just something I noticed. Also, one thing that I would like to see added, maybe, is um, a thumbnail view. So when I'm scrolling through um, with the slider, I see a thumbnail of what pages I'm passing through. This would really make navigation easier, I think, because if there's like a big section header that you can easily pick out from a thumbnail, you can easily stop there and um, be on the right page. Also, it would be nice if you could add text anywhere to a PDF. So this PDF has a big empty space at the bottom of this page. But if I wanted to add a note there, there's no way I can add a note just of text um, over there. I have to go to some text and press on the text and then press note to add a note. So that's um, Voice Dream Reader version 3. It's a great um, update and it um, comes free for existing users. And if you um, don't have Voice Dream Reader, now would be a great time to get it. So I'm going to bring my iPhone back onto the screen just to show you one feature that I hope gets added um, in the near future. So on my iPhone, you can see I have the book um, Introduction to Comparative Politics. And on my iPad, I have the same book. So one um, problem or inconvenience I've had um, over the past couple weeks is I'll, I'll be reading this book at school and let's say I'll read and I'll get halfway through chapter 3 at school and then I'll pause it and I'll come home and at home I like to read on my iPad so I'll go over to the iPad go to the comparative government and um, it it um, I'll have to go back and I'll have to find chapter 3 again and where I was in the book. Same thing with highlighting. If I make a highlight on my iPad 
it won't automatically appear on the iPhone even if it's even if I have the same book on both devices. So I'd like to see a little um, bit of iCloud syncing with notes and with um, current page position so that when I got home from school and started reading on my iPad, it would pick up from the right spot and have all my notes synced over. So that's just a feature that I think would be nice to see in a future upgrade. But um, the new update is definitely great. Um, and it's really great to be able to see all the images in a PDF because without seeing the images and charts, you, may, you could have been missing something before. Now you don't have to worry about that. Um, also, right now, images, you can only view images in PDF files. But over time, the, um, they may add the ability to view images to Bookshare books and maybe other files as well. Um, so that's Voice Dream Reader 3.0, and it's available. Thanks for watching.